Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, as the title suggests, I am going to be fitting bar risers to my VFR 800 VTEC. Now, um, I do quite a lot of uh, long distance riding on this bike. Um, I use it to commute to and from work and that journey is approximately 130, 140 miles. Um, and towards the end of it, I, f I do find that I get a, a little bit of pain in, the, in, the, in my lower arms. So I thought I'd give these a go and see if uh, see if it gets any better. Obviously, the older you get, the uh, the more the more decrepit you get, and the more you need to uh, add a little bit of comfort to your bike. So yeah, let's give them a go and uh, and see how we get on. These um, these particular ones are made by a company called Genmar, um, and they're available on eBay. They're approximately sixty nine pounds, I think it is. Um, I will put a link in the uh, in the description so you can go and check them out. Um, the beauty of these ones is once fitted you can uh, remove this top cap like so and you still have access to the uh, adjusters on the top of the forks so that's quite a nice little touch you don't there are a few out there that you don't have that luxury uh, with uh, i think moto cnc makes some really really nicely engineered um bar risers however i don't think the top caps are removable uh, obviously if you've got a set of moto cnc uh, ones and they are then please uh, let me know in the comments below Anyway, let's uh, let's get on with the job and uh, have a look at what we're going to be doing. Okay, so in order to fit them, what we need to do is basically we need to move the clip-ons off the top of the fork legs. Now, all that is is um, 12 mil bolt. Loosen off the 12 mil bolt. Like so. Just loosen it, it doesn't need to be completely removed. Do the same for both sides. And there we are, as you can see, the uh, they're a bit wobbly. Right, now what we need to do next is remove this little ring that's around the top of each of the forks because that's no longer required. There's one on each. There can be a little bit of a bugger to get to get hold of. And there's the other one. Okay, now what we can do is uh, slide the forks off uh, sorry, not the forks, slide the clip-ons um, clip off of the forks. But what I'm going to do, because I want to put them down, I'm going to put a cloth on top of my bodywork so it doesn't get scratched any more than it already is. Okay, with some protective cloths in place, I can now pop them off. I can pop them down like so. Same for the other side. And there we are, as you can see, we now have our workspace clear. Let's fit the, uh, fit the risers. Okay, as you can see, there's a little knobble on that side and a, and a depression on this side. Now that little knobble fits into this area here, just like so, as you can see. Same for the other one. Then what we need to do is take the handlebars this here used to fit in there. It now goes into the depression. So pop that in there like so. Same with this one. Right, now as you can see, there is a little bit of room to manoeuvre them. So what I'm gonna do for the sake of comfort is I think I'm going to make it so that they're rotated all the way uh, forwards on both sides and then I will secure them in that position but what we need to do first is pop these in like so one each side and then we can uh, we can start tightening everything up now what I'll do I'll nip up the bolts first as I said I'm going to hold this bar like so Oops. Ratchet's messing around, right. 
just nip it up first and then what I'll do I'll get my torque wrench out and torque them up to the factory spec in the manual which I think is 26 newton meters but I'll have to check that first before I go ahead and do it so there we go they look like they're in a decent position right let me get the manual out check the torque spec and then we'll torque them up okay yeah 26 newton meters as i as i believed it was um, according to the manual so let's just torque these up one and two okay there we are it really is that easy guys absolutely nothing to it whatsoever and as you can see they've raised up by quite a significant amount and they're not fouling on the tank at all so yeah that's uh that's a job job and they look pretty nice they're quite nicely engineered and as i said before these top caps can be removed um like so obviously it was only hand tight i haven't tightened them up and then you've got access to the to the um adjustment on the top of the forks if you uh, if you require it so yeah the uh the finish on them is nice it's a nice finish and i don't think they're incredibly overly priced for the uh, level of detail and engineering that's gone into them so yeah as i said before link in the description below if you want to have a look at them and uh, potentially buy a set okay so that is uh, that job that was a quick video didn't take long at all i uh, hope you uh, hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you all again for the next one thank you very much guys bye bye now